So far this week, we've had a lot of dry, sunny weather across southern parts, but it's been a fair bit wetter further north. That story flips on its head as we go through this 10-day trend period. But let's start off by looking at the jet stream for Thursday. And you can see the jet stream is going just to the north of the UK, with much of the country under the influence of high pressure. Admittedly, the high pressure is quite far to the southeast of us, but it's a whacking great big high, dominating the story across much of Central Europe and into the UK. With some some largely fine weather, especially for England and Wales. However, within that high, we also have some very warm air, and so temperatures are likely to be even higher on Thursday than they have been so far this week. Worth bearing in mind that there is a frontal system just to the northwest of the UK entrained in the jet stream. And so across parts of Scotland, perhaps Northern Ireland, there's going to be a fair bit of cloud as we go through Thursday. Also some persistent rain affecting the Outer Hebrides, the Northern Isles as well, and a few spots of rain for parts of Scotland and perhaps Northern Ireland as well. Across much of England and Wales, though, a fine start to the day and some decent sunshine as we go through into the afternoon, particularly towards eastern parts. And as I mentioned, temperatures even higher than they have been so far this week. Mid-teens for many places, 17, possibly even 18 Celsius across some parts of the east. Further west, southwest, the cloud will be building as we go through the day and we are going to have some showery rain arriving as well. This is going to become more of a thing across parts of the southwest, Wales into northern England as we go through Thursday evening and overnight. Could be some rumbles of thunder, some heavier bursts for a time. And then as we go into Friday itself, rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland pushes its way southwards, and we see some rain pushing into parts of the south southeast as well through Friday. So a bit of a messy day on Friday, quite a bit of cloud for much of England and Wales, and some outbreaks of rain, which could be on the heavy side. Quite a different story to what we had earlier on this week. Meanwhile, across Scotland and Northern Ireland, yes, it is going to turn largely dry and largely sunny here. Temperatures are still a bit above average for the time of year, but down a few degrees compared to Thursday for most places because of the cloud, because of the rain. Like I said, there is some heavy rain associated with the uh, various features coming through on Friday. And so worth noting, some high rainfall totals are possible. 20 to 30 millimetres looks quite likely in some places, perhaps over the highest ground of North Wales. We could see uh, something a little bit higher than that in terms of rainfall totals. Shouldn't cause any major problems, but it is going to be pretty wet for some of us. Then looking ahead to the weekend, and let's follow the jet stream. You can see it dips down towards Iberia and then comes up towards the UK. But still, around the UK, it is just going to the north of us. That being said, by the time that we get to Saturday, we sort of end up in a fairly, fairly broad, warm sector with this warm front stalling across northern parts of the UK, and then this cold front trying to push its way northeastwards as we go through the day. But what this really means for many people as well, Yes, across the far north of the country where we have that warm front, there's going to be quite a bit of cloud, a bit grim here, some further rain, mostly light. But actually across many places where we're in this warm sector, it's actually quite a clear warm sector. So there should be some decent bright, if not sunny weather on offer. And still pretty warm with temperatures uh, mid-teens, maybe a little bit higher than that with our air coming in from the southeast. Worth bearing in mind that there is a system trying to push into the southwest, another front here, a weak feature. So there will be a bit of cloud, a bit of rain in association with this. Then as we go into Sunday, and there are again these sort of two features, this uh, front still lingering across northern parts and then another front towards the south. And these two fronts will be bringing some clouds and rain and they kind of sandwich together as we go through Sunday. So the drier slice of weather in between the two systems will slowly reduce in size. But for much of the country, actually Sunday looks like a decent day just in the south, turning cloudier later, a bit of rain arriving, and in the far north as well, staying pretty cloudy, a bit wet as well. But yeah, for many places, Sunday, again, brings a decent amount of sunshine and temperatures still several degrees above average for the time of year. But later Sunday, we will see the easterly wind dragging in some coastal fog, some har, some fret across parts of North Sea coastal areas and even some low strata, so some murkiness. This is perhaps a little bit overdone, but nonetheless, overnight Sunday into Monday, it does look like it is going to get pretty gray, pretty murky towards those eastern parts in particular. And like I said, those two systems sandwiching together. So rain pushing a little bit further southwards in the north and pushing a bit further northwards in the south. Then as we go into 
into Monday. Next week, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a messy day. Eventually, that front will push a bit further northwards. So there's going to be quite a bit of cloud around, quite a bit of rain, but none of it looks especially heavy. Shouldn't cause too many issues. The main thing to draw your attention to on this chart is this high pressure. Somewhere towards Iceland, this looks like it's going to develop and looks like it's going to be quite a bit of a feature for our weather as we go through next week. If we look at that, if we look at the probability pro plot for the various patterns and as you go through this weekend and into the beginning of next week it's this deep red showing high pressure to the north which I just showed you looks the most likely uh, probably well, most likely scenario. As we go through the rest of the 10 day trend period, it's still most likely that we'll have high pressure to the north of us, but it loses its dominance. And so we'll see something a bit more changeable, something more towards like a southwesterly flow or a low somewhere towards the south southwest of the UK being more of a feature. If we look at that in a different way, and this is the most likely scenario for next Tuesday, the 11th of March, and it goes in line with having low pressure somewhere towards the southwest of the UK. Okay. High pressure still towards the northwest of us, uh, Iceland, Greenland area, that, this is where it has the high pressure situated. And if this comes off, then we'd get a bit of an easterly, so that's a cooler direction compared to what we're going to have through the end of this week and into the weekend. So our temperature is dropping a little bit and there could be some showers mixed in with this as well. But the second most likely, it's only 39% chance, so that's only 1% less chance than the most likely scenario, has the high pressure that I highlighted earlier, initially around Iceland, dipping down and just to the west of the UK. If this comes off, then we'd get a bit of a northerly flow, and really the weather would be relatively similar in as much as temperatures still dipping down compared to what we have at the moment, and there would be a few showers mixed in with these. Worth bearing in mind, with the cooler, colder air that we'd get with these scenarios, there is the chance that these showers could bring something wintry. So a bit of sleet, a bit of snow perhaps over the higher ground of Scotland, for example. Nothing too unusual for this stage in early spring. Then looking ahead through the rest of the week, and the most likely scenario for Wednesday is similar to Tuesday, really, so low pressure somewhere towards the southwest of the UK. Um, but the second most likely, again, sticks with the idea of that high pressure dipping down from Iceland and then bringing more of a northerly or an easterly. But they go with the similar idea that really across northern parts we have a greater chance of the influence of high pressure, so more likely to be drier here, but also having something a bit colder pushing through. Meanwhile, there's always a reasonable chance, this is now Thursday, that we could have low pressure somewhere close to the south southwest of the UK. So more likely to be a bit more unsettled, cloudier, wetter but also that little bit milder towards south southwest parts of the country as we go through next week. Friday, again, similar patterns, really. The idea that we could sh or should have low pressure somewhere towards the south southwest of the UK. The second most likely chart has it a little bit further west. But that all goes in with the idea of a bit of a north-south split in the opposite way to what we've had through much of this week. It is worth bearing in mind that even in this, like, you would expect some wetter weather at times a little bit further north and there will be some drier periods and although temperatures may be a little bit or the air around us may be a little bit on the chilly side the sun's getting some decent strength at this time of year so yeah we could have some frosty nights uh, similar to what we've had through much of this week really but by day when the sunshine comes out it should feel pleasantly warm because there actually should be a decent amount of fine weather with high pressure not too far away. We can look at our temperatures now if we just get this up and our meteorograms for uh, the capital cities for the next two weeks show that yes temperatures are above average for well above average at the moment and then as we go through this weekend, they stay above average. I'm using Belfast as an example. Then they dip down to a little bit below and then a gradual increase as we go through next week. It's not much of an increase, only to near normal for the time of year. But yeah, we are expecting something a little bit chillier as we go through the beginning part of next week. But then those temperatures gradually recovering as we see a bit more of a change. Now, before I finish, I do want to mention the fact you may have heard something called a sudden stratospheric warming event may be occurring, and actually it does, does look quite likely that we will see an SSW happening next week. Worth bearing in mind, though, it takes a couple of weeks for us to see any influence on the UK, and it, most likely it brings something more of a blocking pattern, so there are signs of that towards the latter part of March and into April. Now, that's beyond the 10-day trend period, but Aidan did touch on it in his uh, deep dive, which is available on our YouTube channel, so do check that out if you want to know a little bit more. At this time of year, 
uh, sudden stratospheric warming doesn't really necessarily mean that we're going to have a major cold spell. In fact, it could just lead to a, a decent amount of fine weather, but definitely one to keep on top of. And so make sure you subscribe to never miss an update. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.